In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Comfy AI on your Unraid server. This is a tool that allows you to download AI models and generate images, videos, uh, audio, text, and all kinds of other cool stuff. Uh, but there are some uh, there are some minor quirks when you install it on your Unraid server. So I'm just going to walk you through the process of doing so. Um, so the only thing you really need here is an Unraid server with an NVIDIA GPU installed. And what we're going to do in this video is we are, we will make a share for where you're going to store your models and where the AI output, like the images and videos, are going to be saved. Then we're going to install the NVIDIA driver. We're going to check the CUDA course version. Then we're going to install the Comfy AI Docker. And finally, I'll show you how to download some models. So first of all, head over to your Android server, go to shares and add a share. Uh, you can call it AI, for example. And once you do so, uh, you want to think about if you have an SSD drive with plenty of space, use that. Um, that will make everything a lot faster. Uh, you can also, you know, uh, set the array as the secondary storage. Um, but if possible, use an, an SSD. Uh, once you go and apply that, you will see the security settings. Uh, it is important that you set the export to yes, so you can access your share from your desktop computer. This will make it a whole lot easier when you download models. Uh, you, you can also do this via the command line interface, but it gets a little bit cumbersome with API keys and, and things like that. Uh, once you have created the share, the next thing we want to do here is we want to install the NVIDIA driver. So head over to apps, search for NVIDIA, like so. And you want to select this one here. Uh, there's nothing really to it. You just want to install it. Uh, there are some settings which you can find here or you can find under settings here. But you don't really need to do anything. In most cases, you just want to select the latest version unless you have a good reason not to do so. Once you have installed this, uh, click up here on, and open up the terminal. And here you want to enter in NVIDIA SMI which will give you some information of your, uh, about your graphics card. The CUDA version is what we need. So mine is 12.4. This is not the latest CUDA version, but this is the one I have. And uh, we're going to use that to determine which uh, Comfy AI uh, we are going to download. So go to apps, search for Comfy. And this is the one you want, the NVIDIA Docker. Uh, and when you install this, what will it will give you a couple of options here, and you want to select the version that corresponds with your CUDA uh, CUDA code driver, uh, CUDA code version. So I had 12.4, so therefore I will select this one. Um, if if you have 12.5, uh, obviously select this one here. Now, when you install this, uh, the, there is a thing. I'm not sure why that is, but it should add the latest here. Uh, if I, I had some issues where it didn't want to install as is here, but when I added the uh, dash latest to the repository, then then it installed without issues. Uh, so so maybe you need to do that. You can try it out uh, if you want to, but but maybe you will have to do that. Uh, obviously, you want to make sure the port is available. But besides that, the only thing you need to change is you need to select the the whoops that was not what I want to do uh, the base dir directory. And here, you want to select the folder you made. So I, I will put this in a subfolder, AI Comfy AI. Uh, and again, this is this is where you will save your models and get the outputs. Uh, then install that. And what will happen from here is that this is a pretty large Docker file. It will it will start downloading a whole bunch of stuff. And once it is done and it uh, turns on, or, or um, let me just go to my Docker here. Once it starts for the first time, uh, you can actually you you cannot uh, go into the web UI right away because it's still downloading. The Docker will start downloading all kinds of stuff. To keep an eye on it, what you can do is you can go into logs and in here uh, you can you you can see that what it's downloading and how far it is. Uh, so that way you can keep an eye on it. But expect this to take some time. 
when everything is finished downloading, uh, you can open up the web UI and, and you will see something that looks a little bit like this. It will not actually work yet. You have to download a model first. You have two options here. You can click here on the load checkpoint and it will pop up a thing and ask you, do you want it? This model is not available. Do you want to download it? You can do that. Or you can go and find a model over on, for example, uh, Civit AI. You can also go to Hugging Face, but I really like this, this page right here. Um, so to keep it super simple, what you want to do is go to models, go to Civit AI, go to models, click on filters and select checkpoint and safe sensor and find a model you like. So this one, for example, and as a rule of thumb, there are plenty of more factors playing into this, but as a rule of thumb, don't download a model that is bigger than the VRAM on your view card. So I have a 1080 and that has eight gigabyte of RAM. So I will not download anything larger than that, uh, but this should work fine. So from here, you want to select save link as and now you want to go into your folder so the folder the share you just created um, so this is on the network right and then we have the ai folder and in here i'll find the models and this is a checkpoint file so you want to put this in checkpoints a uh, which i don't think yeah i can just use the it's it's this one right i think i'm not actually not sure if it's that one but Anyways, these are just suggestions. You can play around with this. Um, and I think they suggested 25 steps. So in this case, I can queue this up. And uh, what you will see is that there is a, this green um, border will start here and then quickly jump over here. And this means that this is what it's currently doing. So right now it's sampling the, the image or creating the image. And it's actually fairly fast, right? Considering it's only a, a 1080 I have. Uh, but here we have the image of a warrior princess in a Disney style. Um, so, so that's basically how it, it works. But, but there is so much more you can do with this. I am not an expert. Uh, this video is, is merely just to show you how to get it to work on your on RAID server. Uh, in the description below, I will link to a channel called Pixorama. Uh, that he, he's really, really knowledgeable about this stuff and has some very good, very detailed videos about a whole lot of comfy AI stuff. So I would, will link to, to his channel. Um, but with that said, uh, my goal here was just to show you how to install it on your Unraid server. I think I have, I hope I have accomplished that. I hope this was easy to follow. So if nothing else, I hope to see you in another video in the future. Bye-bye.